Well, like, I'm pissed. Everybody, like, a vote for me in your 2020 election. Why won't you vote for me and stuff? I mean, you're saving your vote for crooked Hillary? Like, fuck you, Hillary Clinton. Like, seriously. Like, listen here, Hillary Clinton. I, I, my boyfriend left me and shit. I don't give a fuck if your husband Bill cheated on you. You still got a husband, bitch, and I don't. Real Hillary Clinton is like that, crooked bitch. Come down here, Hillary Clinton, and let's count my 2016 Chicago votes. A vote for me as if your vote counted at all. Your vote doesn't fucking count, like seriously. I come down here, Bernie Sanders, and tell the people that voted for me that their vote counts. You're a fucking fraud, Bernie Sanders. I don't vote Democrat. Those Democrats made Trump president. And those crooked Democrats are working with him and getting paid. Go figure. Hey everybody, I'm back and all that. It's been two weeks off camera. What have I been doing? Well, I've been trapped in a living hell for two weeks. I really have kids. As some of you may know my ex-boyfriend, some of you may not, his name is Gooch. Well, I spent the last two weeks with Gooch and in our little honeymoon, if you would. And then all of a sudden he fucking leaves me and goes lives a double life somewhere. Uh, 60 blocks up there, kids. All the way up there, 60 blocks. And I'm just like, wow, good. I personally think he's been sent to sabotage my fucking presidential campaign. I wouldn't be surprised and stuff. Because at the end of the day, I told him, oh, gee, I'm famous. Oh, gee, I'm, I may be your next president. I didn't give a fuck. All he gave a fuck about was smoking crack and shit and having me pay for it and all that stuff. Oh, it's like that, kids. It really is. I'm glad I gave that crack shit up years ago and I gave crack up under my own terms, not nobody else's. Oh, I've been there, kids. I used to smoke crack and never got hooked on it, but it was something to do on the weekends or what have you. You know, I'm all by myself in the city and stuff like, gee, where did my friends go? Or should I say, where did the vultures go? <laughs> Seriously. I've been lied to and taken advantage of and nobody gives a fuck that I'm hurt and all of that. They really don't. They don't give a fuck that I'm crying on the inside and that my heart is breaking. You could just like my shoes and shit. I had to pump them out in my bag and stuff. But hey, who gives a fuck? And there's a, a, a crack rock to be had and stuff. Who gives a fuck about style and fashion and all of that stuff? Look at the color. Isn't my hat fucking awesome, kids? That's what it used to look like. like so yeah, you know, I'm fucking awesome and stuff, and you're not. So why don't you vote for me and stuff? So anyway, kids. I thought I fell in love with somebody. <laughs> who was just playing me all along, lying to me like they do. And at the end of the day, if I actually meant something to this person, go figure, I'm always the last motherfucker to know. How, how, how convenient. Like, seriously, Gooch. Mm. At the end of the day, kids, I, I, I confronted him and I said, look here, I, I'm not fucking scared of you and all of that stuff. And I, I, I basically came to my own terms of like, hey, gee, we're together or together. But, gee, this is not what I want to do and all of that. Because there really is no glory in getting him a crack rock. There really is no glory in working all day so he can smoke crack. There, there, so I said, look, I don't want to do this. And all that stuff. And I, I had to walk away because... Oh, of course it's not. Oh, just Terry walks away. I gotta walk away looking like an asshole and shit. And it's all my fault somehow, some way. Oh, it is. You know, we were chasing Illuminati and we were hunting them down and all of that stuff. And then he stole my phone. So I couldn't go on my little uh, hunts and chases and all that stuff. And that's why I think he sabotaged my campaign on purpose. Mind you, that, that was technically over two weeks ago because I got paid a check on the first of the month for $800 and I gave it to him. 
he has at the end of the day. I had to hear a sick, sad story about how he owes people money because he was smoking crack, smoking beyond his means, like he does. And all of a sudden, oh, Terry's got to save the day. Terry's got to pay off his drug debts. Why don't you pay off my fucking drug debts? Oh, I don't have any because I'm responsible and shit. Ha, for real. And why don't you buy me some fucking crack, Gooch? Oh, I don't smoke crack. I forgot. Well, aren't I just bitter motherfucker this morning? Vote for me, kids. So now I got a new phone, and now I have to hold on to it for dear life, or else they'll fucking sell it for crack. Why does this have to be with me walking away? And, and me feeling the burden of hurt and heartache? Why can't he feel the burden of heartache? Why can't he feel sorry for lying to me? Why can't I at least get an apology and say like, hey, sorry I lied to you, Terry. I was going through crack withdrawal or what have you. Like, and he even went so far as to like start hitting me and physically abusing me uh, on the regular as if I like that. I don't know what put it in his fucking head that I like being hit. But... He got it in his head that I like being hit. I never said I like being hit, and I never implied such. But all of a sudden, now I'm getting fucking punched and sucker punched and shit by, by fucking Gooch. And, and he's getting off on it like he fucking does, because he's smoking crack. Long story short, kids, the crack made the dude go fucking crazy and shit. It really did. And to the point where I couldn't even rationalize with, with an irrational person, and that I'm usually good at. So, so sad that I, it's just, oh, well, now I'm all by myself, and I have bottles and shit, and I have money, but I have nobody to enjoy it with. So fucking sad, so heartbreaking. It was Valentine's Day, too. You know, part of the agreement was that, you know, like, oh, gee, if I gave him my check, we were going to be boyfriends and stuff. Well, obviously, I don't fucking have a boyfriend now, do I? Well, at the end of the day, somebody's got a boyfriend because he lives double lives and shit. Will, will I see this motherfucker today? Who knows? Who fucking cares? Because at the end of the day, I'm, not, I'm in no rush to lose my new phone. So long story short, because I gave him $800, and apparently he paid off his drug debts. And how quickly he went to make new drug debts. Like they do. It, it was horrible, kids. Because at the end of the day, I loved somebody that I thought cared about. I endured a lot of punishment for the sake of love. But it wasn't love. It was lies and deception. And that's not nice, kids. Because I'm, nice, I'm a nice person. And all of that stuff. And it makes me think, kids, like... Gee, why couldn't he have taken advantage of some, somebody else? Why, why did it have to be me, the one that got lied to and stepped on? But at the end of the day, kids, I get to walk away with emotional torment that's going to last a lifetime. And he gets to walk away with a crack rock and a clean conscience because he doesn't have one. So there you go. There you fucking go. It makes me think, like, he, he had to have done this shit on purpose, kids. This is not no fucking, oh, wheel. this and that and the other. And it's not just, oh, I gave him my check. Every night I was bringing him my bottles and shit, trying to help him. Well, at the end of the day, I was just enabling him. Or enabling him to lie to me, or what have you. Cause. And mind you, fuck him lying to me, because I've known him for, for three years, cause. and I've come to learn this, that everything that comes out of his mouth is a fucking lie. Even if he's just talking about the weather, that shit's still a fucking lie. Because he's a professional liar. And that's how he gets by in the world. By that little sweet talk, licking my ear and shit with broken promises and, and what have you. At the end of the day, just so he can get ahead, no matter who the fuck he steps on, no matter who he destroys in the process. Because at the end of the day, hey, who gives a fuck? He got what the fuck he wanted out of the deal. And, gee, I'm down $800 and, and a lot of money. And I, I have heartache and post-traumatic stress due to an abusive boyfriend that is strung out on every drug but the fucking kitchen sink. 
He's on fucking methadone. He's on K2. He smokes crack and, and popping Xanax and what have you, kids. So, and, and who knows what else, kids? Who fucking knows what else? At the end of the day, kids, I had to walk away and say, like, gee, well, you know, it sounds like a sweet deal going out with you, but it also sounds like a sweet deal for me saving myself and walking away. So I had to walk away, kids. And it, it's not just walk away, but I have to stay away now. That's even harder because I know where that motherfucker lives and all that stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm not welcome there because I walked away. Oh, real G Terry, stay away and shit. We, we don't want you around us anymore. And at the end of the day, kids, long story short, this has everything to do with homophobia or insecurity or both because I, I was not going to be welcome in the gang for the simple fact of me being gay. They were never going to let me hang out with them because I'm gay and there's no room for a faggot in a group full of men. Or a group full of closeted men fucking each other behind everybody's back. I, he's not fucking straight. I told him, all, all your black friends want to fuck you. And, and they probably have. And, and what have you. So at the end of the day, kids, like, I'm going to spare you the racial slurs. Uh, there's no need for that. But at the end of the day, I know a faggot when I see one, and I happen to have fucked one, too. Long story short. And, like, well, gee, what about sex for me? What about what I want? And all, oh, well, fuck what I want, because I gave him $800, so apparently what I want is irrelevant. Apparently my sexual needs and my emotional needs are irrelevant, because at the end of the day, who gives a fuck about what Terry wants or needs? when there's crack to be had. Ooh. Well, at the end of the day, know this, motherfucker. Your crack's not free, and I'm not paying your drug debts anymore. For real, it's like that. Why should I have to pay off your drug debts? Why can't I go around and make drug debts for myself and have you save the day for me like I saved the day for you? Well, at the end of the day, kids, there's givers and takers. I was a giver and he was a taker. I fed him and he bit my fucking hand off like he fucking does. And at the end of the day, I'm still in love. Call me pathetic or what have you. But at the end of the day, no, I'm not in love. I, I, I'm i in love with his lies that he told me. Oh, that I'm special and shit. Oh, I mean something. Oh, we're going, we're together and shit. No, we're not. I'm by myself and all of that. It, it's really like that. And at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? Because, um, you know, his gangster friends got the upper hand because they got a piece of ass out of the deal and I fucking did it. At the end of the day, kids, I could have got, gave him that $800 to any other boy in New York City. I thought this one meant something to me. I guess I thought wrong and stuff. So that's where I've been and that's what I've been doing. I even bought him another phone on the first because apparently, like, whatever. Like, what the fuck ever, kids? For real. It's really like that. I've been lied to. I've been taken advantage of. And all of it came at my expense. Mind you, I'm running for president. I could have used that $800 for my campaign. He, he don't give a fuck because he smoked crack on my dime and stuff. Like he does. At the end of the day, kids... Why does it always seem like the dishonest people get the upper hand and the honest people get stepped on? Why does it seem like there's no room for a mature person in an immature society? Why, why do I have to be the problem and not the solution? Why can't I be the solution? Why do I have to be the problem? Why do I have to be the annoying one? Why do I have to keep bringing shit up when... All he had to do was sit down and go out to lunch with me and we could have talked about this. Oh, yeah. Why am I talking to you about this when I could have talked to him about it? Gee. Well, you know, day kids, what have you. A hashtag Terry 2016. I'm back on the Illuminati hunt and I'm hunting you down, Illuminati, because I know what you're up to and I'm still ahead of you. You may have thrown an ex-boyfriend to try to sabotage my Illuminati hunts. But at the end of the day, we're ready to go, kids. We're hunting Illuminati. 
be very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end of the day, because there, there was no room to hunt Illuminati because at the end of the day, if I was hunting Illuminati, that means I wasn't going to be able to work and support his crack habit. You know, why Why do I have to feel be the one that always feels unwelcome when you could have just said, G Terry, come stay at mine and shit. Why does he have to live double lives and live out here being homeless, man? And when he gets sick of being homeless, he gets to go uptown to a free room that he doesn't even pay for. The city pays for it and all that stuff. At the end of the day, kids, I'm going to continue to rise in popularity and shit, and I'm leaving him behind. And that's my revenge. It really is. Have you seen any Illuminati? Like, seriously, mind you, your fucking NYPD traffic car is unpaid for. And this shit's probably made in China. Like Ford Motors and stuff. You know, no.